Hallelujah. Looking for the gunsmith. We're in, I guess, Fink's territory. He kind of wants us here, which is suspicious in itself. Maybe he wants to stage a coup. Maybe he wants to take over Columbia for himself. But I suppose if he did, um, that would be foreseen, right? So we've got our new little hand cannon here. Pick up Silver Eagle. Oh. I was like thinking that meant you hold on to this. Desert Eagle. Here's some cash. Sorry. Got it. I don't know when Desert Eagle was invented, the gun. I think, I think it's quite an old gun. I could be wrong. I know nothing about guns. <gasps> because they're not in my world, right? I've read about this. It's Gatma Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Someone tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Wait, where, where did you say the Buddha was? Is it up here? Oh, right. Interesting. So this, I imagine, is like forbidden culture. That's like a... I'm guessing that's like a Chinese-style dragon. And then, you know, Buddhism is not homogenous to any particular country, right? But I guess it has its roots. I don't know where it has its roots, but... I guess... I could be wrong. Does Buddhism have its roots in China? I know that there was a period of time where Japan had a Buddhist influence. That was sort of like mid-century, wasn't it? Like 1500s, that period was when Buddhism came in, but Shintoism is kind of bookends that in Japan. I know it's the main religion in Thailand, and a lot of south, some parts of Southeast Asia. But then there's a point where it kind of, I'm not sure, where. Some some countries it'll be Islam, right? The fastest growing religion in China now is Christianity, right? It's selling tons of Bibles, I think. Just Hello? Skip. Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. I think we might be. Do you hear that? There's someone downstairs. Downstairs. Something that tells me this is a trap. Oh, Elizabeth can use lot picks. Thank you, game. Okay, this sounds like a trap. Let's be honest with ourselves. Mrs. Lin. Excuse me. Now, I'm sorry to bother you. We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. I think he's dead. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He gone. Gone? They take flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Melin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, went... where, where is this club? Booker been... will find it. We've been past oh, it, I believe. Leave her be. Why not Vox fully help Chen Lin? 
Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen then? Who is the flying squad? Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. All right, let's figure out where this good time club is. I think we've been past it, haven't we? Unless it's, uh... Well, I don't know if, if Fitz... Is it Fitzroy? Fitz... Whatever his name is. If he's in charge here, then the morality... The rules of morality might be a little bit different here. Making everything shake. Everyone's gone. Watch out, handyman! For you, Mr. Dwight. I must admit, you know your way around a brawl. Thanks. Yeah, I know. I know what gear is. Right, new pants. Ghost posse. Killing with a tra uh, vigor trap has 50% chance to cause the enemy gun to become a ghostly ally for a few. I'll take it, but I that sounds a bit niche. Sorry about what I said at the docks. Calling you a thug. Yeah. I can't see how I might have changed your sense of that. You protected me. Job's a job. Yeah, she shouldn't become too deluded with with us here. Are these things gonna attack us? There's the good time club. No, it's alright, it's alright! All right, you're mine. Am I gonna get messed up here now? Hmm. Think yes, think manufacturing, Elizabeth. There's possession. Yep, where's off? Nice. How much ammo are in each one of them? Eight. Right. I want some carbine ammo. Some hand cannon. Money. Take it. Yep, thank you. Hmm. 
Daisy again. One day, ain't nobody noticed me. Then they think I done for Lady Comstock, and well, everybody noticed me. I head to Finkton, and I hide. I hide deep. Mm. The more they look, deeper I go. Only thing a color child can count on is the fact they invisible. Is this place called Finkton? Did I miss that? Is there another turret over here? Hmm. Yep. <laughs> Thought that was another turret. Oh uh, yeah, I'm too skint for that. Oh, the hell's this? <laughs> it's a copyright claim! Coming from that tear. I never heard that song before. I don't suspect anyone's heard that song. <laughs> what is it, 14 seconds for a copyright claim? Should be okay. Killing time kills Columbia. Don't want to miss any. Oh, a rotten banana. No, thank you. Don't want to miss any um, boxophones. Nice. We've got what eight of them now. Right, everyone's gone now. Let's head into the Good Time Club. There it is, Mr. Dewey. Now we just need to head inside and find Mr. Lin. And just call me Booker. Can't seem to get comfortable today. Crime comes to Shantytown. Pinkerton worker housing has been plagued by panhandling. Ad vagrancy. Destruction of Fink property. And worse. Fink blames his head of security. The boss has no patience for failure. I cannot seem to get my headphones cooperating here. going on with me nose okay nice these have uh, we've got a new batch of these I think sniper rifle these are all that shotgun volley gun shotgun hmm. don't have any of these equipped at the minute but I do like the sniper rifle when we have it but we don't have enough money for that we do kind of regularly come across machine guns. I do like using pistols though.
Let's take the clip increase on the machine gun. I, I do prefer these to the vigor upgrades, just because I, I, I tend to you shoot. Hold on to this. It's, you're gonna drive me insane with that. Let's find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. A sniper. Ha! <laughs> 
interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. Need money? I will get Here what I want. You must be running out of security and stuff, right? He's asking for our help. Oh, I can buy lockpicks? Yeah, nice. I'll take it. Just get our salts. Perfect. Buffed. You know what? I'm gonna go full pistol. For a bit. Just because it's fun. And it's a bit more accurate at times. Shotguns every everywhere. The first lady. William R. Foreman. Maybe the first... Uh, this, when the statue was first built, maybe, or something? Or maybe the airship? I'm not sure. Okay. This is 666, obviously. Very funny. Scared me then, dude. Yeah, I don't think I really want to up the difficulty just because I'm quite happy not dying all the time. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be good enough at it to warrant Look, it. A door over here. I mean, I took quite I a bit of damage then. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Detective Elizabeth. I had thought 
you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these two dads, you have lit the path for me as well. As Elizabeth as a companion, I do like how she moves around. You know, how she leans on things, waits when we wait, and all that kind of stuff. It's really cool. I know she does a fair bit of. You're a modern woman. It's 1912. It's gonna be 2012 before I'm interested in one like you. Fight! What? 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 I didn't want to do that. I thought that that was the two. I know they weren't English, actually. that happens after I've just uh, picked, got rid of the carbine. Who have we got here? Vox Anarchist, Daisy Fitzroy, and a Labour Agitator. Hmm. Uh, the guy who was on the blimp with Daisy had like face paint. But he had a shaved head as well, right? I feel like she's looking at it as well. Can't really read that, unfortunately. Look, Chen Lin, cell number nine. Hmm. Oh, really? Slate. Shoot. Need some help with this? Sure thing. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks oh, like Oh, sure. Me. Why? Because of folks like me. There you go. What, like people don't have the right for industrial action and striking and stuff? Columbia. Oh, that's okay. it. That's the book for the clock shop. Mm -hmm. uh, do I need to look at that personally? I don't think so. I think that it'll just happen automatically. down here. They treat them like animals. Come start to tax the black more than the white. Is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races. Is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red, 
is that not cool? people have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. Sorry about that. An ocean of water. Cruelty can be instructive. And what is Columbia if not the schoolhouse of the Lord? Comstock. Yeah, it's weird. People entrench their uh, their prejudice in laws and beliefs. Right? What the hell are you doing here? That slate. It's slate. He looks. You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. Oh, oh man. Sorry, dude. Thought it might. Thought he might help us at some point in the future, but. Mm. See, like, this guy being here, it'd be cool to find, like, just. A note on him or a little diary or something that would just give us a little story into his life that would be optional, you know? I just feel like this game's really missing stuff like that. Like, the voxophones are cool, but I just feel like it's such an easy win to have little written things like that. But that's the way forward. You know, and it just helps build out the lore for people who want to go a bit slower. And if you don't want to read it, you know, you can just kind of charge through. Got a lock here. Let me have a look. Got it. Uh, drop cloth. Landing off a skyline increases movement speed for fi by 50% for five seconds. No, no, I won't equip that. It's just so it's very niche, right? We're not often on a skyline thing. I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a hide and camper kind of person when I play shooters like this. Elizabeth, a little help. Looks easy enough. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. There you go. Do it. You're a liar. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, More money. but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it, not hyenas. Take this. Hmm. Box Populi crime board. Murder, attempted murder, hurt. Is that a French term? Cool. I've never seen that word before. I don't know. Sexual assault or something like that, I don't know. Okay, it's gotten a bit dark in here now. A bit grim. Well, even more grim. Really could do with a, a torch. Guess that'd ruin the atmosphere. The lane. We're too late. God damn it. Oh my god. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. I see heads. And I 
can see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want What from do you see here? From this angle. Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Wen. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. I have to go through to this other Columbia, but... Oh. How? It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. They're like, uh... If we go into the stair, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. So Are you sure you're ready? So those two must be like Elizabeth in there with their powers. They must be able to manipulate these tears in reality. Okay, open it. Look, there's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Return to the gunsmith shop. A repeater? Yeah, sure. Yeah, this is just like a better machine gun, I think. I guess they idolize Abe Lincoln a little bit, I suppose. For obvious reasons. Wow, this is awesome. Because up until this point, like, the tears have just kind of been like a bit of a gameplay mechanic. Can we let them out? So have we got... Have we gone back in time or something? Huh. Slate still here. So some what are you? The Columbia Gazette? The chick's wife got friends in high places. Come on. We need to settle. Well, some things are still the I same. Don't understand how Chen Lin is alive now. Yeah. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Oh. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that. And have everything else remain the same. Death. Being dead. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have seen the film The Butterfly Effect. Not that it's a particularly good film, but just the nose bleeding and stuff and the change in realities. What is going on here, Sansmark? Has my head of security? I suspect you'll want to find out how these two slipped past your men and what they were doing in the basement. You make me look bad with the boss, will you? Well, we'll see about that. Yes. Can you see me? Who's 
I was supposed to use a different vigor then. I like this gun. He was the one who was strung up on the wall. In the other world? This whole business makes my head hurt. Uh, where was the... this one? Yeah, there's nothing for this particular gun just yet, but I'm going to take the ammo increase on the pistol in case we pick one up again. I will spend my money. Would you rather be Gunsmith set free. This is new, right? Because this must be about Lynn. All charges dropped for Chen Lin. What could have led to this reversal? Prayer? The smart money's on his brother-in-law, Fink's head of security. Cool! Remember to go to the clock thing as well. I don't know if we're gonna have to fight our way through though. The most common complaint I hear from the working men is that they surrender. are unhappy with their lives. I need the iframes. I'm tired of this. <laughs> Help me out, buddy. No! Nice. Here's some cash. Grass stork girl. That'll do. Nice. 
Right, I need some ammo. Now, I, you know, I prefer the machine gun. It's just it's more satisfying to just let rip. I don't know. Let's use let's use the repeater. It's new. Right, let's go to the clock, please. I'd like to find some salts first. Oh, sniper rifle, though. Let's go to the clock shop, and we'll go to Lynn's. Oh right, I thought it was uh, a turret, sorry. Damn it. Set to midnight. Yeah, great. Lobby. Um, take a shield boost. Feel better already. Three lock picks. Box phone. Vivian Monroe. I came to again. Columbia because I believed in God and because I believed in honor. Slate has shown me this. There is no God in shutting our brothers out from the family of man, and there is no honor in defending those who are strangers to its meaning. Perhaps in Finkton there is one more deserving of my service. Right. So there was there is some law to be found in these. A little bit at least. This is Mac full ammo. Which side was Lynn's on? It was this side, right? Okay, so Lynn should be alive in this reality. Hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Yeah, so I guess we've entered the body of Booker in this reality somehow. But it's not too different. I don't know. No, I'm not sure. Or have we just come. So, in that sense, could we actually find. I don't know. Have we altered reality or are we in a new reality? where there might be another Booker and another Elizabeth. I don't think so. It feels like we're on some sort of merged, like, continuum. I'm not entirely sure. But we're obviously being manipulated slightly by this Booker, look. couple. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Hmm. It's not a Buddha anymore. So, so they're obviously not going to help us now. Everything's missing. He's in flux. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin. Downstairs. What is wrong with him? 
Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. Heal my husband? Calm his troubled thoughts. Ooh. Ease his burden. Trust what? Bring Chen Lin back to me. Okay, he's got a new wife. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin. No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up. Impound in shanty town. All right, that's where we're going. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to shanty town. Right. Go. Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. Tara, <laughs> I'm not so sure it was a good idea. Well, obviously not, but it's a necessary, it's probably a necessary idea, right? All right, uh, we'll leave it there, guys. I think that, I think it's a checkpoint whenever we go through one of these, so we'll pick it up from here next time. Fascinating. First, our first interaction with, like, the interlocking timelines. Because they obviously have an influence on each other, like those two soldiers have the memories of death. And Lin here being sort of weirdly in flux. That might be purely down to our presence, or it might be some kind of merging of the timelines. I don't know, I guess we'll get some answers as we experience more of it. So, hope you enjoyed this one, leave me a thumbs up if you did. Just remember everyone, never trust an on-crate. I'll see you next time.